today we will continue with the lecture physiology here we are going to discuss a small topic that is oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve this is a small topic but i know you all are confused with it but there is no need of confusion it's very easy let me explain you briefly what is this oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve normally a male a male has 16 gram of hemoglobin in his blood a female has 14 gram per deciliter hemoglobin in his blood so this is a curve in y axis we have percentage of hemoglobin saturation and here we have partial pressure of oxygen in x axis first of all we have to know that there is no 100 percentage hemoglobin saturation taking place so what is this left shift and right shift so if the this is a sigmoid curve this curve is known as sigmoid curve let's see let's take this is left part and this is right part so we we are using the terms left shift left shift and right shift and in some multi mcqs and other steps we will see some questions so when the left shift take place when right shift take place left shift means the hemoglobin is associating with oxygen they are binding with oxygen and right shift means dissociation of oxygen or in a simple way oxygen is going away from hemoglobin or hemoglobin is not binding to the oxygen so if you study some factors we can compare no need to by heart or no need to memorize first of all when left shift takes place left shift I told you that is association with hemoglobin or oxygen is more binding with hemoglobin so there will be more percentage of hemoglobin saturation so if this is association if there is more amount of oxygen there is increased oxygen it means the partial pressure of oxygen is increased right so if PO2 P partial pressure of oxygen is high then we will have left shift okay we took only one factor that is partial pressure of oxygen and same time if you take go to the right side just take the opposite that's all in right, right shift if partial pressure of oxygen is decreasing okay if partial pressure of oxygen is decreased till the sigmoid curve will go to the right second second factor just take if, if you take partial pressure of oxygen then we can go for carbon dioxide if partial pressure of carbon dioxide if it is it must be decreased right if oxygen is increasing carbon dioxide must be decreased same time here the partial pressure of carbon dioxide must be increased simple right no need to memorize nothing just see oxygen if partial pressure of oxygen is increased means more oxygen so we have more oxygen binding to hemoglobin it means left shift so we are taking carbon dioxide just opposite to that so third factor it will be if there is less carbon dioxide you know carbon dioxide is a main factor which give acidity right so if it is carbon dioxide is decreasing it means what it is alkalosis right that is alkalosis alkalosis or we can say H plus ion they are decreasing no need to buy here see carbon dioxide is decreasing so it means alkalosis and here carbon dioxide is increases carbon dioxide will give acidity right so it will be acidosis it means H plus ions are increasing H plus ions are increasing so fourth factor if you take alkalosis means the pH is going higher right that is alkaline pH that is pH is increased so the thing is in multiple choice question they will give only the factors if alkalosis is increased or alkalosis is decreased the curve will thus oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve will shift to right or left so don't need no need of confusion just start from oxygen comes so no need to buy heart or remember so here it will be pH will be in acidic pH will be less or pH scale comes less right so this we have partial pressure of oxygen carbon dioxide alkalosis pH so these factors we studied no need to buy here easy right so go for next factor that is temperature how to remember this just see if we heat something some binders some binder factors if we are heating what will happen 
it will dissociate definitely it will break the bone see if the temperature is rise what the oxygen and hemoglobin they will dissociate so in left shift the temperature will be decreased right but at the same same time here the temperature will be increased clear right nothing to buy heart so we had four five factors so from first factor we can come to the fifth factor even so if temperature decreased means it is associating temperature increase means dissociating so it means right shift okay then there are two effects two important effect bore effect then haldane effect okay bore effect and haldane effect in left shift we will have haldane effect and in right shift we will have bore effect this are some effect it will be explained later haldane effect the oxygen amount will be increased and bore effect the carbon dioxide will be increased so in haldane effect we will have left shift and in bore effect we will have right shift how to remember this so if you have to remember i will give you a just a tip bore effect in india and all we will have bore wells right in bore wells they are too deep so we will get suffocate if we go inside so just remember bore so bore well so there are more carbon dioxide so more carbon dioxide means right shift so bore effect always goes with right shift and in the haldane effect like remember a very big hall in very big hall we will have lot of oxygen right lot of oxygen means left shift they are associating okay and one of the other factor is 2 3 dpg Two three DPG, two three diphosphoglycerate. Just remember, the fetus or baby's hemoglobin have very low sensitivity to two three DPG. What is the function of two three DPG? They are taking the position of uh, hemoglobin or you no know, hemoglobin oxygen bond. If two two three DPG replaces oxygen, so when when coming to tissues. this 2 3 dpg will go to the hemoglobin so oxygen will be dissociated and it can be distributed to tissues but in chill in fans this 2 3 dpg is less sensitive to hemoglobin so if 2 3 dpg is less means there is more oxygen right so it means left shift so oxygen dissociation hemoglobin dissociation curve shift to left but in right shift there will be more 2 3 dpg so there will be less oxygen so there will be dissociation so these are the factors simple right i believe you are we all are clear these all are the factors okay thank you for watching